it feels so weird opening this game guys um but yeah uh i'm gonna give this a try uh see if i can beat all the levels pretty quick um hopefully get my steam refund uh <laughs> I have two hours to do it, uh, if not, whatever, but uh, yeah, this is going to be a great throwback, guys. I'm um, looking forward to playing this. We'll just jump right into some of the levels, and uh, I'll cut to my uh, completion videos, uh, completion, like, attempts, and then I'll just talk about it at the end, so. Oh, man, here we go. Uh, enjoy, guys. remember here So iconic, man. Such a cool game. I miss this. Probably beat the level already. Pretty crazy how easy this game feels um, after you've played Jump Trash for a little while, aka five years of your life. All right, let's change the song up. Come on, I held it a little too long. I'd never thought I'd actually get kind of frustrated playing this game. I say these are all like. To be fair, I'd say these actually aren't that easy as levels. If you're comparing this to like GD, these are probably like five star levels. Yeah, I'd say they're around five star difficulty. But we're only on the second second actual level, so the last one might be a bit harder. Be kind of sad if the hardest level in this game was. The, the hardest level in the impossible game was a GD 5 star. It's probably a little bit harder, maybe like 6 or 7. I just don't remember the last level.
Come on. Died here like three times now. There we go. Finally. Alright, that's two out of four levels down. Not counting the uh the bonus level, which is basically the same as the first level. That is two left. Dude, are you joking? Oh my god, I just beat it, whoa. Whoa, whoa, dude. Okay, whoa. That was hard, actually. I uh, kind of fluked out the the beginning, not the beginning, the middle, which was kind of uh, kind of really memory-based. Uh, but yeah, I actually have, uh, have some food on the way, so I'm probably going to go get to that now. I've been playing this for a little bit. Uh, I'll probably take a break, and uh, I'll probably finish this off tomorrow if I get a chance. I'm uh, looking forward to finishing the last level, so... It's been a good, uh, it's been a good start to this, and we'll finish off uh, phase tomorrow. So, looking forward to that. Hope you guys enjoy. I'll see you guys uh, for the rest of the video. Hey everybody! So welcome back. Uh, it is actually three days later um, from when I recorded the first part of this series. Uh, we are continuing the Impossible game, or we're basically finishing off the game today. Um, yeah, I started this on the weekend, and it was just kind of an attempt to see. Um, a bit of the nostalgia and sort of how it feels to come back and playing uh, the original game, like the predecessor to GD. Um, and yeah, uh, this is a game that I actually played many, many years ago. I think the first time I ever played this game was back in like 20... I want to say 2013 I probably played it. Um, don't remember much, I just remember really enjoying the game. And then like two years later, one to two years later, I found actu like the actual Geometry Dash and kind of went from there so anyway yeah I do have like a serious history with this game so that makes it kind of cool to uh, play this again anyway so we're gonna finish the game off today uh, we have just phase left and uh, I'll just finish it off in practice mode I was just playing this earlier and uh, I was actually really surprised here's my controller by the way guys I have my controller right here and look you can actually see see I actually actually play with the controller probably don't probably don't believe me but there you go you guys oh see actually legit playing with the controller pressing buttons that's what it looks like it's the uh for those of you guys who don't know it's an xbox xbox pc controller xbox one pc controller yeah i've had it for about a year a little over a year actually i've had it been longer i've had like a year and a half um anyway yeah i use it here and there for gd uh, when i originally got it i thought that it would kind of replace using the mouse. Um, I had a lot of sort of pain with my hand playing the game for a while. Um, I think a lot of GD players have, have experienced that. Um, and yeah, I was really looking forward to just kind of, oops, that's not right. I was looking forward to just kind of replacing the, the mouse entirely, just, just going with the controller. Um, but that didn't happen. Um, I spent a while trying to, oops, I gotta jump late there. 
Yeah, this first part's a little, little off, a little weird. But anyway, this this is so much easier. Oh, you can just hold there. Yeah, this part is this level so much easier than the the level right before it, which I really struggle with. Anyway, um, what do you do here? Yeah, just keep going. I think you jump on the second one. I'll have to do one more practice run, but take my word when I tell you guys it's so much easier than the level before it. Uh, and then you just fall. Yeah, what was I saying? Um, yeah, so I tried for a while just to kind of replace the mouse. Um, but I could never get my skill like that good in controller. I think last year I beat, um, I made a video for it, I think back in like May, probably around May or June. I beat um, like a, a hard demon in the game. It was um, like O O O or whatever, however you say that. It's the uh, it's a Jazer level. It's like a hard demon. Um, yeah, so I beat that, uh, and that was like my hardest. Even to, even now, that's still the hardest level I've beaten on a controller. So like a like an in-game hard demon, I guess is. I could probably do better if I really put the time in, but we'll see. Maybe down the road I might. Uh, might use it a little bit more, but for now I just use it here and there, just to give myself a break. And definitely for a game like like this, pretty much for any game that's not GD, um, I don't really use my mouse. I use my controller for pretty much everything else. Come on! That's it. Yeah, I literally died pretty much the last click of the level. Um, but yeah, cool. So that is the impossible game, man. It's crazy. Um, first of all, it's weird how easy the last level is compared to the other one. Out of all four levels we played, um, Heaven is by far the hardest. Um, in fact, I'd say it's the only hard level. So if you guys want to try this yourself, uh, the, the first, well, the, okay, these two are basically the same level. So there's no difficulty change there. But the first two levels really have more or less the same difficulty um, as far as like challenge, um, like the, how hard they are. Um, the third one, and even the fourth one, is about the same too. But the third one, it really spikes the difficulty. Uh, there's one part where the blocks fall behind, like they fall after you jump on them, which is still really easy, it's sight readable. But then there's that memory part uh, where you have to actually remember for a long part of the level what's coming up. That part took me a long time. I think it took me like 20 minutes, maybe 25 minutes to do, the, to do that level. Um, and all the other levels took me like 5 minutes. So, that is the impossible game guys. Uh, yeah, so crazy history with this game. Um, I thought you guys might enjoy me just kind of diving back into this. Um, trying to remember the levels a little bit. Uh, if for any of you guys who have played this before, the, the song choice is really amazing. I mean, the first one is classic, but I think Chaos Fantasy, let's actually just play it again. Yeah, Chaos Fantasy, I think I mentioned it when I was playing this uh, level earlier. Um, this is a level that uh, trickled into GD as well. I think it's a level, it's a song that became popular um, back in 1.9. Um, and for those of you guys who don't know, 1.9 is the first time I ever played the game, but I didn't stick with it, so I played it played GD in 1.9 for maybe a couple, maybe like two months, um, and then I uh, came back to it at the beginning of 2.0, uh, 
O. But yeah, this song was in uh, in GD for a while. Um, I'm sure a lot of you guys will recognize it. But yeah, it's really good to see that in this game. I mean, this game has so much nostalgia. Such a different world compared to like what GD is. Um, but yeah, it's crazy what. Um, it's just crazy to think of like history. You know, when this when this level came out, nobody thought of anything, right? And this game, like, it was cool, but it didn't do much. Um, and then what makes this, what made GD so different was the editor. Like, it's just crazy to think of, like, how events uh, unfold in history, you know? Like, who would have thought that, I mean, a game that was pretty much the same as this could have became, you know, what it was. Like, the community just built it. You know, made, people made levels and kept doing their thing, and the game evolved so much. Uh, it's crazy that, you know... With, if there had been an editor in this game, who knows? Like, I don't remember when this game, when this came out, I'd have to check again. But I think definitely it was a few years before GD, I think like... 2009 or 2010. Anyway, maybe 11. But yeah, it's crazy that if this had, maybe had an editor, maybe this would have become the new, uh, become the GD before Geometry Dash, so... Anyway, that's it. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna kinda wrap things up here. I'm not sure if that's going to close my game out. I actually just want to go back, but I can't seem to do that. Anyway, that's the Impossible Game, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, go check it out if you haven't already. I'm sure many of you guys know this game, but uh, yeah, it's definitely become become a bit lost in the world of GD. No one quite remembers the origin origins of it, but yeah. Uh, really great to try this again, and uh, hope you guys enjoyed this. More content coming soon. I'm going to keep working on finding some levels and uh, see what we can do, so... Thanks for watching guys, and uh, have a great rest of your day or night, and I'll see you soon. Take care everybody.